What's good, Slay Gang? It's your girl, Red Slay. <laughs> this time, I'm not reacting to a song, but I'm actually reacting to like, it's kind of a little 10 minute video or whatnot. It's called um, Deadly Family War Between K Flaw and D Thing. They must be cousins or something. How y'all cousins and y'all beefing, man? Who do that? <laughs> No, nah, but I guess people really do be like, like family members and stuff like that because they may have crossed each other. Somebody crossed somebody, you feel me? And you were indigging that because I feel the same way. Like, damn, man, you slimy or this and that. So, you feel me? I'm trying something new with this. I'm going to go, we're going to go ahead and react to that or whatnot. Y'all let me know, did y'all like it? Do y'all want me to react to more, you know, short films or whatnot? Let me know in the comments down below. If not, you feel me? I ain't going to do it. Y'all want me to do that, you feel me? But before we even get into this video, y'all know y'all gotta give me a thumbs up. Let's get a hundred likes on this video. Comment down below, you feel me? Like I said before, what other videos y'all wanna see me react to? Let me know in the comments below. But since I'm reacting to like K Flaw, D Thing, all of them, I did get into it a little bit, a little background of them or whatnot. To see, you feel me? What I'm listening to or whatnot. With that being said, we are on the way to 4K, so don't forget to hit the red button, man. And share the video with your people. I don't wanna have to get mad. Now y'all see me smelling. I don't wanna gotta get mad. I don't wanna get mad. Also hit also for, follow me on IG. Let's get me to 1K over there. I will put my link down below also. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Glock, he think a nigga scared of something Come on the side of you, gon' die, let them piranhas eat you up Don't really do no melody, she feel I'm in a short circle yeah. Sing it like this melody, she thinks she on the boy yeah. So let's get into it, let's see why they started beefing Cause they cousins, man, it's crazy Generally, New York City is known for crazy shootings and gun violence But saying that South Bronx is a more scary place to stay is an understatement before, have you seen the homicide records within six months? Over 400 homicides were recorded in that city, according to records of Bronx. 400 homicides, bro, in six months? That's crazy. They wild. Bro, 400, bro, in six months. Y'all got to think about that now. 400? They dropping them over there, man. They dropping them. This is a city with the highest record of murder and gun violence in New York City. The records further explained how the shooting incidents in the Bronx have increased by over 30 percent between 2020 and 2021. There are cases of car hijack, several shootings, and robbery. It's important to know that these guys responsible for all these are not strangers. They grew up in the South Bronx and have grown to become rappers that go about dissing one another. But you know, one thing surely leads to the other. Before you know it, the violence between ops became brutal and even left the ops and became a family issue. So you can understand what I'm talking about better. Let's start from the genesis of the situation, from the genesis of the problems. The very first drill rapper to gain fame in the South Bronx was called Shy E.K. He's known for a song he sang in collaboration with other rappers titled. Hey, listen, someone recently, you feel me? Told me I should react to Shy EK in my comments. So y'all let me know. Do y'all want to see Shy EK on my channel also? Do y'all want to see me react to some of his music? Let me know in the comments down below, man. Shoot and get shot. The song received a wonderful response from fans of over 200,000 views on YouTube. That's quite an impressive number for a music video. In the video, you can see another who goes by the name of Maz BK, who is from the same place as Shy EK. These guys were cool together, as you can see, but something crazy happened and the relationship had to go south. It was Shy EK that did something unbelievable to his friend, and absolutely no one can take that from anybody. No one knows what came over Shy EK. He robbed his friend at gunpoint. Crazy, right? He pointed a gun at his head to steal his possessions from him. That is crazy. Listen, I stay telling people time and time again. They be like, why you don't trust this person? Why you don't trust that person? People are slimy, bro. Y'all never know what people be thinking inside their head. Even though we don't know why he robbed his friend. But that's green, bro. That's your homeboy. Or so-called your homeboy. That's also what they be like, man. It be the people closest to you, bro. It's always the people closest to you that'll do something snake, slimy type stuff. Like, you can never trust people. Especially in this generation. Nowadays, they out of control. Can't call nobody your friends or none of that. But, hey, let's get back into the video, though. 
does that, right? Especially to someone close to you. Well, Shy E.K. did. The two of them stopped being friends from that day, of course. But it never ended like that. Maz B.K. then became friends with K. Flock and another guy called B. Eleven, who's from the same hood as Shy E.K. It's more like Maz never switched. What can you buy with what? Sides, right? But what you don't know is K Flock was once a friend of Shy EK before something happened. Someone from Shy EK's group and a fellow rapper called E Dot Baby was caught smoking live with Ops. What made this worse <laughs> is that the Ops that E Dot was. <laughs> you know, nah, he got caught smoking weed with his Ops, huh? You know what I be thinking? Like, a lot of them, they don't be want to be you feel me beefing with the other side or nothing like that they really be want to be friends with them half of the time he didn't got caught smoking with his ops he ain't never want to be for his ops like that for real man let's get back into it smoking with was d thing's friend who beefs with k flock shot ek and even he died you can see that there could never be a record of peace on that side too much beef and switching on sides now you can see that those on d thing's side are not on k flock's side don't be surprised that D-Thang and K-Flock are cousins that are affiliated with different gangs. On the streets, it doesn't matter if you op gave birth to you. Once you don't belong to the same gang, you're meant to be enemies. That's kind of crazy how that worked. Like, you feel me? Once you get into the street life and all that type of stuff, family or not, you got to beef with them, man. Like, what if you, like, what if they want to be friends with a cousin or something like that? You just automatically got to start beefing with your cousin because they from a different side. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy to me, but I ain't in the streets, you feel me? So I wouldn't really know how that worked, but I just know that's crazy. Imagine these guys from the same family beefing with each other and won't stop at anything to drop diss tracks targeted at one another. You won't believe that if they had the chance to shoot each other, they wouldn't hesitate. That's because they show so much hatred for each other in their songs. This is a war between K Flock and D Thang, who are brothers. But let's talk about D Thang and his group. D Thang was the second rapper to gain fame in South Bronx after he dropped his hit, Caution, which garnered about 1 million views on YouTube. In his song, he targeted his op shot, EK, saying, And they claim he should be shot in that situation. You got that shot. He was referring to the situation when Shy E.K. got shot by a female YG's member who is currently locked up. Hey, listen, I know he was mad when he got shot by a female. He probably like, damn, man, they ain't gonna never stop talking about this, bro. I just know it, bro. You get shot by a female, bro, you a dude. You know they ain't gonna never, your ops ain't gonna never stop talking about that. That's gonna be damn near probably in every song, damn near. Let's get back into it. YG's is the gang D thing belongs to. So in support of what his gang member did to his op, he did troll Shy E.K. Meanwhile, Shy E.K. was asked in an interview if he got shot. He said he was shot. The YG's were patiently watching that interview while recording it. They made fun of him saying they knew he got shot. After that shooting, Shy E.K. was mentioned in so many songs, especially by the YG's members trolling him for that incident. You know how it is on the streets once you get shot, beaten, robbed, or killed by your op. They'll do anything to provoke you into anger. That was what happened to Shy E.K. After recovering from that gunshot wound, Shy E.K. decided to release a song he titled D&D, &D, which also received positive reactions from fans. But little do you know that D&D &D means Demi and Delilah. The two were members of YG that were shot in the head multiple times and killed by ops. And had that man ain't playing he said okay they trolling me he trolled him right back not naming a song after his dad ops bro they disrespectful bro they disrespectful release that song to troll him the death of these two was a big hit to yg's especially the death of delilah which shook even the whole community a lot of people came out for her to express their grief concerning her death her mother while speaking said she felt like she was dying because the pain that caused her was unbearable how on earth would she have felt if she heard the diss track of those two committed the crime but cannot be apprehended due to lack of substantial evidence? It was a crazy war between OGs and the YGs, then with OGs losing about six of their members to the violence in 2020. The war between them has existed for over a decade. Even though the two groups are at war with a lot of their members who got killed, they never stopped their beef but further escalated it. The next is Diddy, a basketball player and friend of Shaw E.K., who got killed after his graduation. It's unclear if Diddy was part of the game. Hey, listen, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Diddy was part of the game. 
Hey man, that's that's kind of crazy. Like you, you feel me? You just graduated or whatnot? I know you feeling good inside. You like, damn, I'm done with this. Time to go to the next thing, bro. And you get shot, dog. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Like. That's crazy, it's crazy. Dang, but he was a good friend of Shy E.K. and has been seen closely with him. Days after his graduation, while he was on the move to playing basketball, he was shot in the neck and killed. Imagine how his family and friends would have felt by that news. He just graduated and that would have made his mother proud of him. The woman was really broken and the vacuum in her heart must seem like one that could never be filled. The police believe that he was hit by a straight bullet after the investigation. That would have been believable and accepted because a lot of people have died from straight bullets. It's not new and it happens, but what happened after Diddy's death would bring our attention to something else. After Diddy's death, D-Thang and the other members of YG's mocked Diddy. Actually, Diddy looked very cool and reserved and also graduated from high school before he met his untimely death. Though that doesn't mean he can't be a gang member. Many of these gangsters don't attend a school or drop out halfway. If YG's members like Diddy, they probably did it to her shy E.K. Normally, best friends are meant to keep each other happy, so they take away what makes Shy E.K. happy. The YG's guys mock Diddy by taking to social media to write, Your ball players need to stay home. You're balling like Diddy, huh? Hold this down. Green. They also wrote on Facebook, Who matching my Diddy? And also, no, we mixed that with the Benji Buddha. It don't hit without Diddy. All these messages can only be two things. One is that they had a hand in Diddy's death, or they're just making sure that the op is having a hard time. Either way, he was hit by YG's or not. It can only mean one thing to Shy EK and his gang, and that's YG's attacked them and they must pay for it. The YG's op is not only OG's, but also the Sev side, which K Flock belongs to. It's also a long time beef between the two groups that have resulted in bloodshed. Until now, the YG's and the Sev sides are still enemies. How the beef started is unknown, but recently there have been cases of these gangs taking the lives of one another, making their families cry. This is now more than what you call a gang war, as this is now about two family members dissing one another and leading to bloodshed. It started with the murder of Ty Quill Doherty, who performed under the name Ty Switch, who was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. Ty Quill tried to fight it. Bro, I know that's crazy. Like, I know they kind of, like, they, I don't know. I feel like they should get tired, or I know they got to be tired of just watching it back 24-7. This man couldn't even go home. He shot, you feel me, in the lobby of his apartment complex, bro. While he going home, it's like you just 24-7 got to keep a watch out. Somebody might come from this angle, that angle. I just, I don't know. I know they got to get tired of that. But, you know, they also get a thrill out of killing. So, who knows, man. It's crazy, though. Stay alive. He was alive when his mother and others found him. He was taken to the hospital but was later pronounced dead. Ty was said to be associated with the YGs, but those around him knew him to be a cool kid with a big heart. His death, however, was too painful to his gang members. They wasted no time to retaliate, and that led to the death of a Sevside member and a close friend of K-Flock called Jaria and Elliot. The YGs believed that Jaria was present at the scene of Ty's death. They killed him because he was a not present at an ops crime scene. Even if he wasn't there to kill Ty, so far he was spotted at the scene. He had to be the one to answer for that crime, and so he got killed especially to make K-Flock feel pain. Jaryun was killed in broad daylight when he was walking the street with his friend, and his ops had to jump out a white van and shoot him dead. His friend was lucky enough to escape, but Jaryun was so unlucky and was later pronounced dead by the medics. Though Jaryun was just 13, he was wanted by police for several offenses he had committed. After his death, the... They young as hell. Bro, I'm thinking they like mid 20s round at 13 bro they in this deep bro at 13 y'all let me know in the comments down below how old is you feel me k flaw d thing be loving all of them let me know because this crazy bro 13 they young f sides began a threat to avenge his death and that wouldn't have surprised or shocked anyone because that's the way it is and in less than 10 hours they got a chance to take the revenge on the op it was Ra Ra, a member of the white. Hey, they ain't waste no time. I guess when they be like, I'm a slot for my nigga, they really gonna slot for they nigga for real. I think that's what fans wanted Lil Dirt to do for Keen Bun. You feel me? They wanted him to slot right away type thing. 
no dog game he wasn't on all that but them they reckless they ain't even been the whole day it was 10 hours and they slid for their homeboy it was not planned bro they reckless man they reckless Jeez, who became a victim of the unfortunate incident Ra Ra himself was wanted by police for gun charges and had also stolen a car at gunpoint do not start to imagine Ra Ra was an adult. He was just 16 years old at the time. What these kids do is unimaginable, right? Yeah, it was almost unbelievable. On that day that Ra Ra was murdered, he was shot by two of his ops on a scooter while he was going to the studio. Ra Ra was also said to have been present at the crime scene where Jaryun was murdered. My question is, who was the one that spots these guys at the crime scene but never thought of confronting them? It's just really crazy that those that were killed have been alleged to being at the crime scene of the ops. These guys don't need to have any evidence before they take actions. They just go on and do whatever they want to do. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Let me know what you think about these two brothers who are at war with each other in the comment section. Also, let me know if you think these guys will eventually squash their beef soon because they share the same blood. Hey you. Yeah you. You like the video? Great. We got another one for you that we guarantee... Hey, listen, that's low-key crazy, like, they young, nowadays, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the younger ones be having more heart than the older people, and that's crazy, these, these cats young as hell, killing each other bat to bat like that, that's crazy, bro, they saying family and all, they don't even care, but you feel me, <sighs> this video just laced me up, it just laced y'all up, you feel me, now y'all know what they beefing, the whole video is crazy but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction video do y'all want me to do more videos like this you feel me little short clips or whatnot let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me get 100 likes and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't clicked the red button already we on the way to three um, to 4k so y'all already know how that go man i'm gonna see y'all in another reaction video though and i'm out Glock, he think a nigga scared of something Come on inside of you, gon' die, let them piranhas eat you up Don't really do no melody, she feel I'm in a source of yeah. Singing like this melody, she thinks she